Perhaps the most important interval in music is the third. It is the one interval that immediately determines whether a chord, scale or melody is inherently happy or sad. It is also the interval upon which we base tertian or tertiary harmony. Chords are created when we stack thirds from a chosen scale. And if it's the basis upon which chords are made, then thirds are an essential fretboard visualization when it comes to arpeggio based chord tone soloing. So in this week's lesson, we're checking out everything you need to know about thirds. A third is the name given to an interval spanning three musical alphabet letters. For example, C to E, G to B, or F to A. Each interval in music has a number and a quality. There are two types of third, a major third and a minor third. The major third spans three alphabet letters that are two whole steps apart, four frets horizontally, the first to the third note of the major scale. The major third interval is abbreviated to A3. If a major interval is lowered, it becomes a minor interval. A minor third therefore also spans three letters, but it is the distance of three frets horizontally. The minor third interval is abbreviated to a B3 or flattened three. Remember, the third must always span three alphabet letters. If a major third is a natural note, the minor third becomes a flat note. For example, C to E will become C to E flat, not C to D sharp. And if the major third is a sharp note, the minor third becomes a natural note. For example, A to C sharp becomes A to C. The major third across a string pair is a diagonal shape, one fret lower on the string physically below. That shape is adjusted across strings three and two to find the notes in the same fret. The minor third then has a fret gap between adjacent strings and the diagonal shape across strings three and two. Mapping out all the A notes and the major thirds, there are some other shapes to be familiar with. The first is the tenth, or compound third. The third has been raised an octave to span ten alphabet letters. In scale or chord shapes though, you will still refer to this note as the third above the root. The other shape is the inverted third, or sixth, when we measure the interval from the lowest in pitch of the two notes. A to C sharp is a major third. C sharp to A is technically the interval of a minor sixth. Whenever playing these sixths, though, I find it more beneficial to think of them as upside down thirds. The first practice idea to have the intervals clear on the fretboard is to choose a note at random and then find all the major thirds around it. You should make sure you do this with both the major third and minor thirds. To create some musical ideas from the third, it's a great exercise to work on a harmonized scale. We'll be using the A major scale here. When playing up the A major scale using double stops, starting with the A and C sharp notes on strings 3 and 2, a series of major and minor thirds occur. Major, minor, minor, major, major.
That can also be played on any of the other string pairs, but the shapes will be the diagonal forms, with all the other string pairs tuned a fourth apart. You will often be starting the scale in the middle of the fretboard, so you should be confident with playing thirds in either direction, above or below the root note. Another great exercise is to harmonise any scale pattern that you may already know. For example, this one octave major scale pattern rooted upon string 6. With the chord being formed by stacking thirds, there are two sets of thirds which fit perfectly over the major chord. Firstly, the major third formed from the root to the third of the chord, and the minor third found between the third and the fifth of the chord. For example, an A major chord is A, C sharp, E. Over an A bass note, you can get the A major sound by playing A and C sharp, or C sharp and E. The same rules apply for the thirds over a minor chord. You can either play the minor third between the root and flat three, or the major third between the flat three and five. As a final thought, whichever scale or key your music is in will determine the sequence of the harmonized thirds. For example, a harmonized C major scale over the A pedal note gives the sound of the A natural minor scale. Even a harmonized E major scale over the A pedal note gives the sound of the A Lydian mode. If you'd like more on this, you should definitely check out my Inside Intervals PDF guide or even Guitar Rut Buster's Essential Theory, my comprehensive video course available from my online store with the link in the description. Whilst you're there, be sure to pick up your free copy of Fretboard Mastery, my guide to learning the notes of the fretboard in just a few days. As always, tabs for this lesson will be available to all members of my Patreon group. You can help support the channel and get exclusive bonuses each month for less than a cup of coffee. Find out more with the link in the cards or video description. Practice well, and I'll see you again soon.